Perhaps even more startling than Kennedy's plan to withdraw personnel from Vietnam was his secret effort to engage Fidel Castro in a dialogue. John F. Kennedy was responsible for some of the most infamous acts of aggression against Cuba, and yet, secretly, he was, at the time of his death, pursuing an accommodation with Fidel Castro. Kennedy's approach to Castro was buried in secret documents that were in a, a vault at the Kennedy Library until I asked for the entire file, which was titled Contacts with Cuban Leaders, to be declassified in the late 1990s. Could the United States actually negotiate directly with Castro? Top State Department aides were saying, the United States won't talk to Cuba unless Cuba throws the Soviet Union out and promises, guarantees, that it will stop screwing around in the rest of Latin America and promoting revolution against U.S. interests. Um, and Kennedy actually took a very different position. He told McGeorge Bundy, his national security advisor, I don't think we should box Fidel Castro into a corner. I don't think we should make preconditional demands for talking to him that he may not be able to meet. My father, he repeatedly told Fidel Castro that I trust Kennedy. I trust that he will not invade your country and we have another six years because I believe that he will be re-elected. While U.S. efforts to destabilize Fidel Castro's government continued, Kennedy worked through back channels to explore the possibility of talks. In November of 1963, a breakthrough seemed near, and Kennedy sent word to Castro that he was open to negotiating an agreement. He sent his own emissary to talk to Fidel Castro, a French journalist named Jean Daniel, who had come to Washington in October, met with the president, and when the president found out that he was on his way to Cuba, he basically sent a message to Fidel Castro with Jean Daniel. Il n'y a aucune seule chose qui m'intéresse. Je dis, t'as un ambassadeur, tout le monde va le voir, vient de me raconter, faites-vous une idée là-dessus, ça m'amuse. Et dites-lui, d'ailleurs, si vous voulez, qu'il soit communiste, je m'en fous, il y a Tito, le communiste, c'était... C'est Couturé, le communiste, c'est Couturé, c'était la Guinée. Bon, je m'en fous. Mais qu'il soit allié à l'Union soviétique et si près de chez nous, ça, jamais. And John Daniel was giving this message to Fidel Castro on November 22nd, 1963. Castro himself was saying that Kennedy might become a historic president, one of the first presidents who understood that the world was a diverse place and that the United States could live with communist regimes peacefully. And so they were talking about this when dramatically an aide came in and said, the president of the United States has been shot. Vous étiez avec Castro lorsqu'on a appris la mort du président Kennedy. Oui, j'étais avec Castro et je peux vous dire que s'il avait un résumé d'une phrase, l'impression qu'il m'a donné, c'est qu'il avait perdu un complice. Et le mot n'est pas trop fort. Castro turned to John Daniel and said, there goes your mission of peace. 